Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and this video is a complete Loom screen recorder tutorial for beginners. I will show you everything that you need to know inside of Loom, from installing and setting up the app correctly, how to set up Loom with your preferences so that you get the screen recording that you are looking for, how to actually record and make sure everything goes smoothly, and I will also show you the editing area and everything that you can do after you have stopped recording your Loom video. So right here, I am I'm on Loom and to access this page to actually sign up and get started with Loom, you can just come over here to loom.com. Now, the first thing that I want to touch on, and this is very important, is going to be the pricing for Loom. Because as you can see right here, we have three different pricing plans. We have startup, we have business, and then we have enterprise. Now for enterprise, I assume that most people watching this video will not be using enterprise because you just get these additional features. You get some advanced content privacy, some other things, and you need to actually contact their sales team in order to get this. So for now, let's just disregard this. The main two plans that we will be looking at is starter and business. The main difference between these is, as you can see, the startup, you can store up to 25 videos on your account and these videos can be up to five minutes. Now, I've used Loom a lot and essentially you can get around this 25 video cap because you can record 25 videos and then once you have filled that 25 video range, what you can do is delete old videos that you don't need anymore and it gives you that space back. So you can record more than 25 videos, you just can't store 25 videos in Loom. I hope that makes sense. And then also, you only do get five minutes per video with this. So depending on what you are looking for, you might want to go straight to business. But honestly, if this is your first time using Loom, you just want to test this out, then I would recommend going for free. But you can choose either way. And with business, you also get a free 14 day trial. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and sign up for Loom. We can click on sign up right here. And then we can either sign up with our email or we can sign up with a Google account. So I'm now signed up and we can just go through and answer these questions. So what are we using Loom for? We can answer that question right there. Then we can name the workspace. So the main workspace that we will see, we can name that. Click on continue. And then if you want to invite teammates, then you can do this as well. But I will show you how to do that later. The main thing that we are going to focus on right now is the Loom app itself. Now, right here, we have two different options. We have the option to either just install the Chrome extension or the extension for whichever browser you are on. Or alternatively, we can download the desktop app. The difference between these two is essentially with the desktop app, this is the better version. And once again, you can download this for free. You get access to being able to record videos in up to 4K. You can also add speaker notes, you can add frames, you can access the drawing tool. So what I would recommend is downloading the desktop app, but you don't have to, you can just grab the Chrome extension right here. So I just clicked on download right there and I can go ahead and finish installing Loom right here. And then once this is installed, I'm just going to go ahead and find Loom and open this up. So I just signed into my Loom account and it's now going to ask me to enable these permissions. So I'm just going to go down and enable all of these so we can go in. Where is it? Loom right here. We can enable this. And then once we have set all of that up, it's going to give us a tutorial right here, but we don't need that because you are watching this video. So this right here is Loom. And once we have the app installed, all we have to do is open up the Loom app just like this. And this is the screen that you will be taken to. So right here at the top, we can configure the settings that we will be using to record. So up at the top here, it's now set to full screen, but we can go down and we can set this to if we want to record the full screen, if we only want to record a specific window. So in here, I can say, okay, I only want to record Google Chrome. So if I open Chrome up right here, I can say specific window and I've opened Chrome up. So what this means, now I have this selected, is it's going to record Chrome. But if I close this down and I like go back and I go back to here, it's going to stay on whatever page of Chrome we had opened and it's not going to follow me when I go across. So I do like to set this to full screen. I just like to have everything out there. I like to show everything that I'm doing, but that's up to you. We can also choose camera only. So to get this, we need to turn camera on. I'll go for my iPhone camera. And then you can see in the bottom corner, it's gonna be kind of weird how this is laid out because my camera is at a strange angle. So forgive me for that. But as you can see, we now have the camera on down here. So what I can do is I can say, instead of full screen, I only want the camera. And then as you can see, it's only going to record the camera 
and none of my screen. So that's how you can set that up. And then we also want to turn the microphone on right here. So I will select my microphone. And just like that, I now have this set up. So this is recording full screen. I have my camera in the bottom corner and I'm recording on my microphone. And then all I have to do to start recording is click on start recording. However, we do have a few other options down here. So one of these is effects. What I can do is turn on effects and as you can see, it's not picking it up the best on my camera at the moment, but I could turn on like blur for example. And as you can see, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, the background is now blurred. We could go to effects and we could turn on like nature. And as you can see, I have like a, a nature background. This would work better. As you can see, like half of my face is cut out. If I turn to like face the camera fully, it's going to be a little bit better than when I'm turned like halfway and it's cutting off this side of my face. So it, it just depends on your camera layout. But I'm just going to flick this back to off. Then we can go for speaker note right here. And if we turn this on, you can see it's just going to open a little pop up. And as I'm recording, I can just go ahead and take some notes right here. And then the final thing that we have is this canvas. So what I will do is make my camera smaller. I'll get into this in a second, but the canvas is basically going to add a background to this. So if I go for like a meeting right here, you can see that this is like a meeting background and we can go in, we can say like what the meeting is. So we can say like loom, meeting, we can add some text, we can add some text down here, we can go back into canvas, we can change it to breaking news, and we can add all of those right there. But the main recording is just going to be like this. And then what we can also do is adjust the camera size down here. So if I click on small, you can see the camera is going to get smaller, I can make it a little bit bigger, I can make it full screen just like that. And then if I click on this little person icon, it's going to turn my camera off. So let's just go back right here. And now what we can do is go ahead and we can start recording. So right now, this is just going to load in and then it's going to say three, two, one. It's going to give me a countdown. And now we are recording. So what I can do is because I set this to full screen, we can go across right here into Google Chrome. And let's just say that we are going to Namecheap, for example. We can go through, we can go into this website. I can do a little tutorial, yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. Then what I can do is I can either pause or stop. So if I pause right here, what this means is the recording is temporarily paused. So it hasn't completely finished. It's not going to stop and save the video. It's just going to pause this. And then what I could do is maybe I'm thinking about what to do next. I can click on play. And just like that, the recording is going to resume. So that is pause. We can also click on this button right here that will restart the recording. So if I click on this, it will say, your current video progress will be lost. We can click on restart. And as you can see, we are going to get three, two, one. It's going to restart the entire recording. It's going to delete the old recording that we have. And then it's going to start again from scratch. So I go through, I do the tutorial, da, da, da. Then this is just going to delete the recording. So if I click on delete right here, we can click cancel recording. And it's just going to delete this. Like nothing happened. It's not going to restart. It's not going to do anything like that. It's just going to stop the recording. So let's start recording one more time. The final time I will do this. Three, two, one. We are recording once again. And then the final thing that we have over here is this draw tool. We can basically bring this up and I can say, okay, so in this tutorial, I can like highlight certain things. I can draw around certain things. I can draw arrows, anything that I need to with this draw tool. We can change the color. We can change the thickness of these lines. And then if we just pause right there, this final thing right here is confetti. And this is just going to blow confetti all over the screen. Awesome. So right now I'm finished with my recording. So let's click on stop. And what that is going to do is it's going to save that video. And as you can see, the video is now going to be brought into here. So that's something important that I do want to mention in the Loom app. So if I pull up Loom, this is all we get. It just gives us access to the screen recording, any editing, any saving of files that we need to do. This is all done inside of the web app right here on the browser. So as you can see, this is the video that I have. I can go ahead and watch it if I want to. We are recording once again. And then the final thing that we have over here, I can go ahead and rename this in the top corner. So I'll just call this uh, video test and that's going to be renamed. And then over here, we have all of the different settings that we can do to this video. So for example, we can use Loom AI to remove filler words and remove silences. And what this is going to do is it's going to find any ums and ahs in the video and take them out. And it's also going to remove 
any silences just like that. So we can turn that on and it's going to go through and do this automatically. We can then go over to activity and this is where you and your team can leave different comments. So I can say hello. That's going to be posted right there. And then if you share this with your team, they will also be able to come along. They will be able to reply. They will be able to leave, leave comments and everything like that. We then have a transcript. So this is basically going to take everything that I said in the video and transcribe that into text. So we can go in, we could copy this if we want to. And then if I go ahead and paste this, you can see all of that is in there. If anything is incorrect, we can go in and we can basically edit this. So I could find this right here. And let's say we didn't say basically, and instead we just said, uh, hello, as an example, we can add that in and we can edit the transcript right there. Then under view, so we can see everybody who has viewed the video and then settings. I don't really use this, but you can remove background noise. You can remove the Loom branded player. You can add a video thumbnail and all of that good stuff. So that is the editor right there. The final thing that I'm going to show you in this editor is we can actually trim and stitch. So what this means is you can go trim and stitch right here and then we can go through and like cut and clip this video. So right here, I think we have a bit of silence. Let's have a look of these lines. So let's say I wanted to take that out. I can just go here and then we just click on split. And then I'll split again at the end of the silence. And then in the middle here, I can delete this clip. And now let's take a look at how that looks of these lines. So right now, I'm perfect. And that silence is removed. What you can also do is if you have multiple clips, like if we recorded two videos, we can go add clip right here. So I'll just make sure this is saved. So save and exit, and then go back into the trim and stitch. I can go add clip. And then in here, I can find another video that I have recorded and I can clip them both together. So it turns two videos into one video. So that is what we can set up right there. And then finally, if I just go back to the main menu of Loom, I can basically see this is the homepage with just some tutorials. I can go down and see my library. And in here is going to be all of the videos that I have created. Then notifications, this is going to tell you when somebody comments or shares something with you. And that is basically everything that we need. Like watch later, history is just going to show you the videos that you have watched and recorded. And that is basically everything that you need to know in order to use Loom. So that is my complete Loom tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.